Okay, I just woke up. I'm going to get up and I'm going to just get started. So the next part of my morning is actually do some uh, meditation and something I like doing is actually reinforcing what drives me and so i sort of imagine what it's like to be at the point that i want to be and this encompass is not just like imagine the picture but what it's going to feel like what like imagine there's some wind there or like you're feeling like some smell what is the smell going to be like you try to imagine as much as possible what it's going to be like you being at the place you want and then you try to be the person that you want to be in that future and yeah, we're gonna do that. That's basically the more interesting part. Now the rest of the day is basically just studying. Um, on a usual day, I would wake up a little bit earlier because I like being up earlier, feeling more in control. Um, but yeah, now I'm going to basically start working. So I want to tell you a little bit more about what I'm actually doing at UCL. My degree is a combination of IT and management. What this degree does is basically equip you with skills for both areas because there is currently a problem where someone who's an engineer doesn't have much business understanding and someone who is a business person doesn't really have any technical understanding. And while this is changing in uh, recent years, this is still a really big problem. And I know from my experience as well, it is still largely the case. So what this degree does, it's roughly split between 70 to 80% business content and around 30% uh, more technical content. And now I've actually finished everything else. So I'm focusing entirely on my dissertation at the moment. The dissertation topic that I chose to work on is, in simple terms, just taking all of the scientific papers and uh, research publications in the area of self-driving cars and trying to analyze what are the key trends and what are the areas of focus of researchers and even use that information to try to predict what will be happening in the future what innovation are we looking forward to? Um, and the motivation for this is that self-driving cars are super, super important and they will save so much time and uh, prevent so many deaths and will be super beneficial to the economy. But it is very difficult to keep track because of how fast the whole field is growing. And if you're a researcher or if you're a company, you might want to know what will be the next innovation or where to put your money and your efforts but you need to stay up to date with all these papers um, which are hundreds of papers every week which is really difficult for you to do and what we are trying to do is first we are doing the biggest literature review in self-driving cars out there and second we actually managed to predict a lot of interesting trends that I as a person who is really enthusiastic about self-driving cars I found really valuable insights just from simply running um, analysis on all the data and all the papers and coming up with really cool things like for example one of the things that fascinates me is um, there seems to be a trend or like an emerging innovation in um, wireless charging in relation to self-driving cars and i think this somehow links to like cars will be maybe uh, electric in the future and at the same time self-driving and because of that we will be able to wirelessly charge them when they're like sitting on the side of the road which is actually a really cool technology like if you're a researcher this is a great opportunity to research and if you're a company this is a great opportunity to invest in for the future um so Tomorrow is the last day where I need to submit my dissertation and so basically I'm just working to finalize writing up some text like editing and by the end of today I should have it more or less done and yeah When we wake Hear the 
birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done Okay, uh, I'm a bit hungry so I'll go get something to eat and then I'll continue but kind of decent progress so far How let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Alright Call us crazy but things are finally right So actually, I know this is not the healthiest thing, but I made some brownie the other day. Um, so I'm just gonna try to finish that and probably get a banana as well. So that should keep me It's 12.03 and I'm going a bit crazy, so I'll take a, like half an hour break or maybe a bit longer. No limit to what we can do. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. So I'm just coming to the end of my break, but I want to share with you the video that I was just watching. I'm going to put it under the description as well. Um, it's a video basically about how to, I don't like using the word success, but how to be successful and by success. What this video talks about is how to work towards something that is meaningful to you. And I agree, like this is really the definition of success, like putting effort towards something that you value. And the seeds that you plant in your mind, which are hopefully seeds of positivity and seeds of, I want to reach that goal in my life and I want to be that person, are the things that naturally will flourish around you in your life. And a second thing he talks about um, how the opposite of courage is actually not cowardness, it's conformity. Cool, so it's 12.55 uh, now. Um, that was basically my break and I'm going to continue working for some more time, finish the conclusion um, of my dissertation and then we see how it goes. Hey again, so I just finished most of the dissertation, so it should be okay. It is 2.40 p.m. now and I'm going to go eat something like a lunch. Uh, I'm not really going to cook anything, I think, because I'm still sort of in this productive mood. I'm just feeling a bit hungry. So I'll try to make like a quick snack and then sort of continue. But yeah. Another thing, by the way, is uh, I don't check my phone a lot. So all those things, like I wouldn't reply to messages throughout the day unless like something is urgent or something. If I see it, I, I generally just avoid using my phone. I find it quite distracting. Shining just above you. Okay, I just went to buy some poke, so and I was uh, out for a walk in the park, so kind of feeling good. Just gonna eat this and then I'll continue with some work, I think. Okay, I took a kind of long break um, catching up with my flatmates, but it's like 9 p.m. now and 
I'm going to just put some music, have some more chill working time and and yeah um, let's just grind a few more hours and then uh, kind of wrap it up and then I'll just revisit it tomorrow but yeah Okay, so I'll give you an update what's up. Um, I'm super done. Like, I, I still have a few things that I need to do tomorrow, but I'll get up early and should be fine. I'll probably chill for a little bit, read a bit. Um, I have a Kindle, which I like to read uh, before I go to sleep. And I need to reply to some messages because I haven't like properly looked at my phone the whole day and i need to reply to some people but other than that that's it for today and i hope you found this interesting that's a day in my life um as a final year uh, business and it student and working on my dissertation and yeah okay i'm finally going to go to bed it's 12 I just managed to reply to some messages and waking up in six and a half hours. So yeah, hope you found this useful. I'll see you.